Yo, like, I feel like I should just shave my face. Hey guys, my name's Kate, and if you're new to my channel, then you can hit the subscribe button. Um, you know to keep updated with my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impression on a new drugstore foundation that I picked up just today. I'm really excited because it says it's supposed to be dewy and you know like illuminating or whatever so if you guys want to see which foundation I picked up from the drugstore then just keep watching. First I'm gonna you know moisturize so I guess I'll just use one the one that I use like every day just to so it's easy to see what it'll look like you know, when I wear it. The clean and clear dual action like moisturizer thingy. Okay, now I just look like a bean, but yeah. That'll have to do. Okay, so yeah, just just uh, make fun of my face. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put this on my face. I have to do this because. Um, it's like really hard to get out of this container now. Like it doesn't really pump out. Um, but yeah. This is really difficult. Like I'm still trying to figure out how I'm supposed to do these like makeup videos because like I don't really have like one of those like mirrors. You can just like put right here, you know. I don't know how this video is gonna turn out, but yeah. Okay. Um. So I need a mirror. I'll use my Carly Bible palette. So I got the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Normal to Dry um, Skin Foundation. And it also has SPF 18 in it. So this is the one that I got. And it's in the color 110 Porcelain. Hopefully this is my color because, I mean it wasn't that expensive. It was like 640 at Target. But okay, so maybe I should shake it a little bit. I'll use the real techniques on this face. The satted face. Okay. Okay, I'm opening it. Okay. Doesn't have a bad smell. I always am scared about that. It doesn't have like a little pumper thingy or anything. It's just like the little, you just have to put it on your back of your hand. You have to put it on the back of your hand. Just about like that much. Where should we start? my shade actually I like it so far it's a little difficult to see like in this little mirror but it looks pretty good And it has a glow to it, which I can see. So I'm going to prom um, next week. So I wanted to get a dewy foundation. Um, so that's why I'm like doing this video. Like I wanted to get a foundation, but um, so like I was like, might as well just like film a video, you know? See how I like it? So yeah. Ooh, you can see that. Do you see that? Ooh. Can you see that? Look at how glowy it is, like. Yeah, what? Do you see that? I look like a mannequin. I really like, I like the finish. Like it doesn't look cakey. I thought it was gonna look cakey. I don't know, I'm just always like worried about like buying foundations because I always feel like I'm just gonna look like a cake monster. Like I don't think anybody wants to look like that. So. 
The application could be a little bit better, but hopefully the beauty blender will work better, so we'll see about that. Sorry, I keep on looking in the viewfinder, like, that's probably really annoying, so, um, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Wow. I love this. This is like, wow. I love this. No, wow. Sorry, like, I was looking in the viewfinder again, but this is like really awesome. Like, oh my gosh. And like, you have time to like work with it? And it gives like a little color to my face. I can see like, um, it's, I'm not like super, super white. Yo, like, I feel like I should just shave my face. I can see all the little hairs on it, which, I mean, I mean, I have hair on my face, so you're gonna see it, but that's kind of annoying. If you, if you had like a hairless face, this, would like glide on like so easily. Oh my lord. Okay, I'm almost done with this side. I got my damp beauty blender, so I'm just gonna start working on this side of my face. So it's going on like pretty sheer on this side. Sheer. I'm gonna need some more. Okay, I like the application of this side, but I do need like more. But yesterday I was like researching um, good dewy foundation, like drugstore foundations, and um, I saw this girl was using like this brush, and um, so I decided to like get it. Um, but I think it'd be. I think the sponge might be better. is like way better so I would recommend using a sponge so I finished completing it so this side is the one that I used with the real techniques brush and this side of my face I used with the real techniques sponge and so I'm pretty sure I like the sponge application way better. It's like really smooth. And um, even though this side, it gave me more of like a glow, I would say. This one, it's like, if you use the sponge, it's like more sheer. But I like that because I don't want like a whole load of cake on my face. So I'm gonna finish off the look and I'll be right back. So I just quickly put on some concealer. The Instant Age Rewind Rimmel Stay Matte Powder Becca Highlighter. This one's so ratchet, like I really want to get a new one, but uh, yeah, there you guys are. But yeah, so um, I just put some of those things on. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and comment down below any video suggestions that you guys have and anything you guys have to say about this look. And subscribe at the end of the video if you want to see more of Kate. And yes, hopefully you guys have a bomb ass day. I will see you guys next week. Bye guys. But the summer is gone.